Are you guys ready for this video that I'm about to show you right now? I am about to get the workout of my lifetime right now. <laughs> so I'm on the Hosco electric bike. This is the Alpha model and it has a torque sensor built into it, which means I can only use a throttle up to 20 miles an hour. And if I want to go faster than 20 miles an hour, I have to pedal. And I'm talking about, I have to pedal my ass off. Like I'm pedaling like a regular person right now. If I pedal any faster than this, it's gonna feel like I'm ghost pedaling because your feet kind of rotate so fast that I'm just, I don't know, I'm putting so much effort into pedaling and my, I don't know, my feet just can't rotate that fast unless I'm really staying on the bike, really pushing into them. Um, that comes into the first problem I have with this bike was the pedals. The pedals do not stick to your feet or your shoes and it's really hard to keep your feet on there, especially when you have to pedal pretty hard. So that's one of my biggest complaints about this bike. But it's not to say that this bike is bad by any means. I actually really like this bike. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like this is like a legit e-bike. I love how it looks. It feels so premium while riding it. It's just, it's gonna give you a workout at the same time. So let me pull over here and show it to you if you guys didn't see my video review. And then we'll hurry up on the way to work. All right, so here she is. Very huge bike. 26 inch wheels four inches wide but i love the fact that they how they made this frame because the seat sits very low so someone that's kind of short maybe like five three five four could probably still fit on this you might be a little bit slanted to the side putting your foot down but if you're definitely over like five six i would say you should be able to flat foot this bike no problem now there's a few issues with the lights that's what we're going to get into later in the video when i get off work and you know ride it at night and whatnot that's why i have a secondary light right here because i don't know how well this one's going to perform so we'll keep this one just so we can see the night riding footage a little bit better if that stock headlight doesn't look good they do give you an aftermarket tail light but it's not integrated into the battery system it's just something that comes off you bend it up and you can take this off. It has a uh, AAA batteries in there. So if you want to charge that, you can. But I don't like the fact that I like to sit very low on my bikes. And look at this. This blocks this light right here. So that's unfortunate, but it is very easy to turn it on and off. I do like that. But I would have liked to seen an integrated tail light in here. But we'll check out and see how bright that is at night. I probably should have bought an extra light for the back, but it is what it is. We'll just work with what we got and hopefully no one hits us. But I do like this bike. I really do. You see how gorgeous it looks? But uh, before I talk too much, I gotta hurry up for work. One thing I forgot to do was tighten this throttle down. So I'm gonna be fighting with this throttle a little bit. It has nothing to do with the company. I just totally forgot that it was loose on my video review and I forgot to tighten it. So I'm just gonna have to be careful with it. But I will say, I don't really wanna use the throttle too much because the way this bike is set up, you can't use a throttle and pedal at the same time to get to 28 miles an hour. If you're holding the throttle down and pedaling, it will still limit you to 20 miles per hour, which I'm not a big fan of. So I wish you can use both at the same time because I'm very comfortable with holding my thumb on here, especially when you come to a complete stop as well. It'll feel so much better just to have your hand on the throttle to kind of pick you up to 20 instead of pedaling the 20, and then you just pedal the rest of the way. But you have to just stay off the throttle if you want to go anything past 20 miles an hour. Now this bike should get very, very good range because you're obviously putting your power into the bike as well to get up to speed. So definitely expect this bike to give us really good range. And I'm on a full battery charge to keep that in mind. We're at five battery bars. I'm moving my feet so fast. Like <laughs> they needed to put a bigger chain ring on this bike. I'm like pedaling so much and I'm gonna go around this bump right here. I will say though, this bike is very comfortable though. That's one thing I liked about it. It has no rear suspension, but it feels great. The only thing is I'd probably replace a seat as well. And I know I'm probably saying a lot of negative stuff right off the bat, but I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta tell you what's going on and what to look out for and whatnot. So just something to keep in mind and make sure this person does not hit me. It's pretty damn close to me, lady. You could have waited for me to go asshole <laughs> just kidding just kidding all jokes all jokes Whee. i do like this bikes it's pretty high people should be able to see me but people are still rude out there you know what i'm saying they don't really respect you on the road cool just gotta be courteous and hopefully no one hits us right here because man 
lot of traffic flow pretty bad around the 99 in Shaw if you guys aren't from Fresno you'll know now I don't like to pedal around turns with other bikes as well this one does sit pretty high but I'm still a little bit worried I never want my pedals to come in contact with the road and then I uh, clip it and then end up washing out and going down so you lose a lot of your speed not pedaling through the turns <sighs> I wish I wasn't ghost pedaling that's like the first thing I'd probably change is the seat and the chain ring chain rings are pretty cheap but then you also have to uh extend your chain as well so that's a big inconvenience but yeah i feel like that's the only thing they uh truly kind of messed up on it is what it is we're dealing with it but we're gonna have to go off road too we got a road close sign ahead i keep forgetting this is here but there's no way i'm gonna keep going down on shaw with all the traffic to make a bigger loop especially on this bike i'm pedaling my ass off I've done only three miles so far. I feel exhausted and I got to do a 10 hour shift today, but I'm doing 25 right now. Not too bad, but here it comes off road, baby. <laughs> These brakes are fantastic too. Oh crap. What is this? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. They just put that water down too. Dang. I just missed it. They're with their little water thing over there. Well, the good thing is it wasn't that wet, so we don't have no mud or nothing. But the good thing is we got fenders on this bike. So we don't have to worry about getting splashed with anything. I just don't really like my bikes in general getting dirty. I'm a little worried. Well, I'm always worried when I take these bikes on a trip to work because you never know if you're going to get a flat. These tires are thick, but they're also thin right in the channels where the grooves aren't at. So I'm always worried about getting a flat. I don't think they say they're puncture resistant tires and honestly you can get a flat on any bike out there but just keep in mind that uh you could get a flat on this bike and tubes for this would probably be kind of expensive because it's a big fat tire e-bike so much energy to go fast i'm almost about to give up and just put it in a throttle mode only and just do 20 miles an hour i should have left for work early dang <laughs> it's been a while since i've been on a bike that limits you to like 20 or 25 miles an hour and trust me this bike can go up to 28 watch hold on let me hold on to the handlebars really quick and look how fast my feet are moving i'm moving as fast as i can look 26 27 you guys can't see that display i'll tell you guys the speed that's pretty much as fast as we're gonna be able to go i think 28 is what i hit before and i think the speedo reads one mile per hour lower than what it says so we're probably doing like 28 that's what it feels like to me but man I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. This would probably be good for me though because I eat pizzas on my lunch all the time. So the fact you have a high performing e-bike that also makes you do a little bit of work instead of just sitting there with the throttle held down and not really doing anything. I kind of like it to be honest. It just, it's hot. It's over hundred degrees. If it was cold weather, it'd be a lot better. Oh yeah, this thing turns good. I'm going over 20 miles an hour, so I can't use the throttle. I put my hand on the throttle. I got to keep pedaling. <sighs> Look at this. Faster than the car is taking turns. Don't get in the bike lane. Don't get in the bike lane. Come on, man. Come on, people. Come on, people. Kill him. Hey, people. Do I have a horn on here? No, I do not have a horn. I thought I did. But at the same time, I could have been behind him and went slower, but I was really trying to get a head start coming up this hill <laughs> my god 22 miles an hour it's not too bad definitely pedaling pretty hard <laughs> yeah not bad guys hey you making fun of me the guy in the truck's taking off you wait until i get my tesla bitch. oh that's right i forgot youtube doesn't like cussing i had to bleep that out <laughs> oh, man. why is everyone making a right no one wants to go straight i'll go straight i'm taking the shortcut i'm gonna probably take the bike trail and give myself a little bit of time to uh relax <laughs> man my stomach is hurting i was eating pizza before i came i feel like i always eat pizza but i got some skinny jeans on as well too which is not a good idea on a bike that you have to pedal dead dead I got a monster stripe on uh, an Optima Kia. That's weird. 
this guy in the red truck staring he's probably interested in the bike to be honest or he knows me from youtube could be one of those two okay so now is where i take it easy we're using the throttle only let's not tighten down why does 19 miles an hour feel so slow <laughs> i don't know man what's going on here this is a hazard this is a hazard right here come on guys my hub motor need caught in those. If I go down, I'm suing. I'm suing. It's just jokes, guys. Just jokes. <laughs> I feel like I gotta say that every time I say some dumb stuff on here because <laughs> I'm always in my own little world, just chilling, just having a good time, looking at what's around me and enjoying the bike that I'm on, which I like I said, I really enjoy this bike. It's real comfortable, especially if you're not trying to go 28 miles an hour all the time. You can just pedal at a decent speed and be okay. But uh I don't know, I'm just always saying random stuff. I think what I need to do real quick is get a thumbnail for this video. So I'm gonna pull over here real quick and this is where the thumbnail for the video that you're gonna see when you click on it, this is where it came from. The thumbnail is done and I got swamped, but it is so hot out here. When I started walking right now, I was like, oh man, I took a shower before I came out here too, man. God. <laughs> I'm probably losing weight as we speak right now. I don't even need to work and walk around like 15,000 steps, which I normally do at work. I'm good after this bike ride. I'm gonna be very tired though at the end when I have to uh, get off of work after working 10 hours on my feet and I have to ride this back home. I did this on another e-bike, I'm not gonna mention the name, where I had a torque sensor and it was limited to 20 miles an hour. Same thing as this bike. I was dead when I got home. And I have to edit a video tonight for this company. So, <laughs> man alive, <laughs> I got a lot to do. It's gonna be a long, long day. <laughs> I can't pedal anymore, guys. My heart feels like it's gonna pop out of my chest. I am just, I'm dead. I need a water. Well, we made it, we didn't get ran over. I didn't think we were, but tonight I'm a little worried with the brake light. Well, at least I get to show you guys the lights and stuff like that. That's the biggest thing I like to do with on these night rides. Check it all out and see if you need to upgrade your lights or not. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you probably have to. Hey, we went down one battery bar for 6.4 miles. And like I said, we did uh, six and a half miles like I normally do. Not too bad. All right, see you guys in 10 hours. For you, it's just five seconds. Must be nice just sitting there on the couch watching these videos. <laughs> jokes, guys, jokes. Just kidding. I think he already drove past earlier. I think he came to look at parking and then I think he was checking out the door. Honestly, probably because they're making a U turn right now. So, and they're like being like real weird. Like they're going to go like down like a, uh, like a thing and then they, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm gonna die right now. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Driving? I don't know, man. That lady that's right in the front right there in that Camry, that was weird. I thought it was going to be someone else in that car, but they were uh, going to the other door and most of the time uh, our store gets like broken into a lot. They got rid of the pharmacy and it actually saved, like solved a lot of the issues because people were coming in and getting like the medicine and stuff like that, hopping the counter. But I don't know what that lady's doing. She was like all over the parking lot. She hit the curb before I started recording. I'm like, oh my God, something bad is going to happen. <laughs> well, anyways. Other than that, what's up, people? I will say that so far, this headlight's not looking too hot, but we'll see how it is when we get to like a pitch black like area. Okay, so I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna lie after working. So now we got a pedal. But what's cool about these big bikes that I don't really see it because I really like the moped style e-bikes, but I gotta give them credit because everyone sees these big fat tire e-bikes like 24 inches, 26 inches stuff like that we got to go around this thing i don't know why that's still there 
people love them. I don't get it. Like everyone loves how big these bikes are and everyone's always interested in buying these bikes from me. They sell a lot easier than the moped style bikes, but you guys online know that moped style bikes are dope. Now these are still great bikes. I don't have a problem with this bike. It's actually fantastic. It's just a workout. <laughs> now what I said in the beginning of the video, we're finally on the trail so I can show you how these headlights look and the tail light. Oh, I haven't even turned on the tail light. Oh my God, I forgot. We got to do that. So real quick, hold on, let me go up one more because there was a guy back there with a bike. He might be catching up to us. So I might have to do this quickly. You don't want to trust anyone out here. So, so far the headlight's not terrible. So it's way up here. It's adjustable. You can, you guys can see that. That's actually probably legit right, right there. It's a little loose. I should have tightened it, but that actually looks pretty good. Now, let me come to the back. I don't see anyone yet on the trail, so we're good. But, oh my God, I got to get this light on. Whoa, oh, it's loose. Oh man, that, oh. I've taken this thing off and on so many times that look, I don't even have to depress it. That sucks. So this can just pop out on me and honestly, I'll be riding and not even know it. So not a huge fan of this. There we go. It's kind of better secured in there, but I think I've just taken it on and off that the plastic is just kind of worn down because there's a little clip right there, but man, I, I can't deal with that brake light. I'm sorry. If you guys do buy this bike, look into getting a aftermarket brake light for it because it's not that great. And you guys could probably see it on camera as well. Headlight. Not so bad, not the best. Um, let's see how it looks off to the side. Uh, you guys get an idea of that? It's not too bad, but I think for the rest of this ride, after we get on this trail, because I do want to show you how this light looks on this pitch black trail, what I'll do is uh, we'll flip to a nether light that I put on here, and I love this light. It's a portable one. The only bad thing is it looks like mine kind of broke, the little clip. I'm assuming you could just buy the clips without buying the actual light, but I'm hoping this light doesn't come loose because one of the clips broke. But anyways, you guys can see how it looks. Not too bad. We got a little bit of light behind us, but now we're coming up to a pitch black area. It's not bad, but you can tell that since I'm pedaling, the headlights kind of go on back and forth because my body's obviously going back and forth. There's people walking. It's like 12 at night. Oh man, this bike is so nice to jump off curves with. It's so planted. The only thing you hear is the chain. I said it in my review video, if you guys didn't watch that, is that you might want to get like a, uh, I don't know, like a cloth or type of, like a sleeve for the side of the bike, like the frame. So then you won't have to deal with that chain making noise or anything like that. That's something I would do. Honestly, it's probably like five to 10 bucks on Amazon. Then you won't have to deal with that chain if you're going to be pretty rough on your bike anyways. I don't really do too much. I don't hear the chain unless I jump off the curb of this, so you should be all right for the most part. Now that we're done with that, here's what a real headlight looks if you were to spend like, I don't know, what are these, like 20 bucks or 30 bucks? There we go. <laughs> I didn't tighten this down good enough just because it is a little messed up. Like I said, one of the brackets is messed up, but that has nothing to do with the bike. But I want to be able to see a little bit more. Now I can actually see like the flakes in the road where like there's glass or something I probably don't want to run over. I couldn't see nothing like that with a stock headlight. Not a big fan of stock headlight. I would definitely suggest getting an aftermarket headlight. Oh, we're going, we're going fast. Woo, it's a big boy, but oh yeah, it definitely goes 29 miles an hour. Let's go, baby. We're down one battery bar. At the end of this trip, we'll roughly do like 13 miles or so. So we did like six and a half coming here, and then we'll do another six and a half going home, especially the shortcut I take in that neighborhood where we got to go over the dirt. And then we'll see where our battery bars are at. I don't think you could do voltage. Let me see. Odometer, so that's the total miles I have on here. And then you have trip. That's it. You get two things. So I'm a little disappointed that you can't get a voltage reading on this bike that would have been nice now i do like the little blue led right here that kind of goes up and down i like the fact that you're going to be able to see this display on my gopro at night it's not that bright but it's very clear and visible very nice for the average person to see it oh oh okay i told you <laughs> i told you all right 
what's happening is is that these bars also like taper and get thinner and thinner as they come out to the edges and what's happening is it's real fat on the middle but the headlight is uh moving ever so slightly off to the side and it's causing it to uh get loose so i might have to keep pushing it over little by little but again not the bike's fault just a little setup i have right here i'm gonna be taking it off when we get rid of the bike anyways but uh yeah like i said for the third time i just suggest getting another light i had to give up guys like i'm still pedaling but without being a cadence sensor we're losing speed left and right <laughs> i'm even going slower under 20 miles an hour so i'm gonna give myself a break and use a throttle but that's kind of really where this bike is going to shine with range man because you can't go that fast all the time and the fact that you have to pedal you're definitely going to be dead when you get where you got to go but you're going to be like hey i got a lot of range folks <laughs> you just might not be able to keep up with the pack that they got like e-moped style e-bikes <laughs> all right i feel a little bit better that little one minute break let's get back to it the one thing you're really going to be impressed with this bike if you do get it and you ride it for the first time zero to 20 absolutely fast it has a buffang 750 watt motor don't know what the controller is but honestly it's powerful it will get up hills way better than a bike that says it's 12 to 1400 watts trust me take my word for it well that feels better now that they wet it down it's not as soft it feels a little hard there we go we are on a big fat tire e-bike though i will say so it should go over terrain a lot better than a 20 inch tire but not too bad all right let me start pedaling again i want to go fast but i got to save a lot of my energy when i get up to the section at uh shaw 99 so we got the freeway right there there's always a bunch of people in traffic i gotta make sure to speed through make sure i'm safe something that this bike would be nice to have where some other bikes have had it in the past they were way more expensive than this thing but having like a calorie thing on here that shows like how much like input of your pedals you're using and it will tell you how many calories you've like burned and like the time and all that kind of stuff that would have been cool to see on a bike like this if anyone was able to find out a way to unlock this thing where you don't have to pedal to hit 28 miles an hour i would love you forever this is a fantastic bike if you just use throttle only don't have to pedal at all take the workout just sit there and relax get from point a to point b without huffing and puffing like i am I don't think I would take this every day to work. It's not for me. There's a kitty, it's cute. I would most likely take my car if I had to ride this thing all the time. I do not need this type of workout and the seat would need to be replaced ASAP. Oh dang, he stopped my momentum. I bet you traffic's gonna be coming up in no time. Let me guess, yep. Oh, that guy just ran a red too. Bro. <laughs> I'm going to run it too, but I'm a bike. A car is different. 3,500 pounds. Come on now. I'm about 100 pounds on the road, roughly. Not even that. This bike is light, actually. But just be careful. Look, look both ways. There's no traffic for like miles coming this way, so why not go through? I sit at the light, wait for the traffic to get behind me slow down traffic get onto the road have to get onto the side they have to worry about hitting me then i gotta worry about them seeing me and not hitting me you know what i mean just get away from cars it's the best way to do it especially on the skinny street i have no bike lane over here i'm literally pedaling my ass off i'm fearing for my life remember we got the streets over here <laughs> you don't know fresno man it's bad <laughs> oh man that's kind of a joke but not a joke <laughs> it is bad over here but i'm over exaggerating it's not like too too bad but yeah my back is sweating i can't wait to jump into the shower right now i gotta edit the video review for this bike and then you guys will be seeing this shortly after that video review goes out i got videos all over the place right now <laughs> i actually missed editing some videos the other day like from three weeks ago so i was like oh my god i gotta post those before i post these because then it won't be in order you guys be like what the heck why is it going back to this it's old <laughs> i've been trying to get ahead on videos but not too far ahead where it's like two weeks of content and then things change every week 
and I like to respond to your guys' messages and stuff like that. So I apologize if you guys are seeing this video right now and you guys made a comment on this review of this bike because it's not out yet. It's obviously out right now because you saw it before this one if you watch both of them. But I can't reply to any of the comments because, well, no one's seen it yet. So I really like to post the videos, read the comments, and then I can reply in the second video. But we had seven bikes in three weeks or maybe two weeks. They all came at once. Still waiting for two more to show up. One of them hasn't paid me yet. I'm still waiting for payment. I'm not doing the video review until they pay me. But honestly, I'm going to throw that bike outside because it's been a month and a half. And by the time this video goes out, it's probably going to be almost two months since I've had that bike and they haven't paid me, which is messed up. It's in the contract. Half up front, half when the video is done. But I'm going to start charging for all these video reviews now. I love riding these bikes, don't get me wrong. I didn't charge this company nothing to review this product. Can you please go? Can you please go? Okay. Oh, you're just gonna sit there. Thanks, man. That's what I'm saying. I could have just went through the damn four-way stop. <laughs> People don't know what to do. Like, thanks for like ruining all my momentum. I stopped. You didn't even go. I'm not gonna sit there forever when I'm sweating my ass off. And I just worked. But hey, back to what I was saying. I really like this bike. I didn't charge the company any money because I really wanted to work with them. And I mean, I was really attracted to the color of this bike. You can't go wrong. They do make it in a, uh, I think it's like a blackish gray color. It looks cool too. If you want to be stealthy and not this flashy with this green, like, I don't know, glossy uh, paint job, they have another one and it looks gorgeous. So I have links down in the description. You guys can check them all out discount codes as well and uh yeah go to town i really like them they've been coming around i saw david brand new did a video on it and some other other people they're not bad bikes actually like they really aren't they feel like a tank on the road and decently comfortable just get a new seat that's it and then work on maybe uh the headlights and make sure you tighten all your stuff down like the throttle and the seat because my seat's coming loose <laughs> Let me pull over here in a second. We'll see where we're at, but it doesn't look like anything has changed. Oh man, exactly 6.2 miles. And I, I didn't even go down my blog yet. So I'm surprised it gave us that instead of giving like 6.3 miles. Anyways, it was, it was pretty much, I think the same when we got to work. So one battery bar down, if I turn the bike off and then turn it back on, I'm curious to see. Oh no, so it stays at exactly four battery bars out of five. Damn, that's going to get you a lot of range. We did probably 13 miles of range. That's not bad at all. Wow. You guys are going to be able to go everywhere. You're just going to be sweating when you get there. That's all because you got to pedal. But uh, maybe highly think about picking this bike up. You could also put a water bottle holder right here. If you guys can't see it, I'll try to move out underneath as long as there's no one on this road. You guys can put it right here if you guys can see that. One high, like good suggestion, if you really are going to get this as your main bike, I would highly recommend upgrading the chain ring if you really want to make it easier. If you're a speed demon and you want to go 28 miles an hour faster all the time, you need a bigger chain ring because your feet are just moving too fast. But the motor is great. It's so powerful for what you need. You're not going to complain about it. It's not that loud. You hear a little bit of noise from the tires. But overall, I highly recommend this bike. And oh, no memory function. So as soon as I turn it off and on, it went back to zero. But anyways, you guys are the true MVPs of this channel. And... I appreciate all you guys. I know I work hard to edit these videos and put them out, but still, if no one watches them, I'm not gonna get anywhere. And that happens to a lot of people. So I really appreciate you guys. And thanks for the members that joined. If you guys wanna join, uh, links will be down in the description for that as well. And I put out content a little bit earlier and then I also put up bikes for sale as well at a discounted price. So see you guys.